I was born on the west side of Detroit on September 14, 1930. I was born in the Depression. It started in 1929, but I just love my life. I don't think I would change my life at all. My parents were both born in Czechoslovakia. My dad was in the First World War. He enlisted from Jefferson Barracks. It was said that it's just kind of a miracle how professional these people were for such a little training. My parents were born and raised right in Toledo, Ohio. My mother and dad were very religious. I was the oldest of six children. And my dad worked for Toledo Edison, and he was a stationary engineer. And we were really more like pioneers, I think, back in the 30s. The Great Depression really caused my father to lose his job. And then they had a, a DPW, I think it was Detroit Public Works. They'd give you a shovel, had DPW stamped around on a handle, and you would go out certain times of the day digging trenches and sewer lines and everything by hand. I think people really were, were a lot closer together because we was all in the same boat. As far as entertainment, what we did, we had simple things. It didn't cost no money. I learned to be more thrifty and we don't need everything. You know, you have a lot of wants, but you don't need them. I think it's been, uh, since I've been here, it's been about 63 years, and believe me, things have changed. <laughs> we'll see if there's anything goes up 49, 49 something. Yeah, this is, this is the old homestead. There's a dog still laying down there where we left it. <laughs> now this is what's been right here. I just, I just talked to a neighbor across the street here, and I said, well, what, what happened to this residence that was here in my old, my old home? She says, it burned about 15 years ago. It's too bad we can't find any more about it. It was a kind of a boom town, I guess, when the war started. People got to make more money for the war effort. I just turned 11, so I must have been fifth or sixth grade. Because I remember when the news came on the radio and everybody was so shocked, and we was all worried that my dad would have to go. My dad bought a farm in 1941, prior to the war starting. In 1946, we moved from Detroit to uh, Dundee, Michigan. I was 17 when I got a factory job. I was working in the factory on the second shift, and in the daytime, I was farming. In 50 years, a lot changes. Toledo was known for uh, its glass. They manufactured all kinds of glass. There was like five of our glad use that all worked at Toledo Edison. My cousin came from Texas, so when I told him one time, I said, hey, would you like to go to Detroit, go to Belle Isle? When we parked the car, the gentleman came up to us and he said, I got this ring, I want to sell it. But that diamond ring, I didn't even realize. Uh, I put it on the wedding band finger. I had no idea. When you have parents coming from an old country, they don't talk about engagements and rings. All through my life, from 17 on, when I'd go out, I always put that ring on my wedding finger. They had a breakfast like it. So the one girl, she said, you don't mind sitting with Joe, do you? And I said, no, but isn't he gonna sit by his wife? And she said, he's not married. And I said, he's not. I said, he's got a ring on. We got to talking and we kind of liked each other. Then after that, we just kind of kept going together. To this day, I mean, uh, if you're religious or not, but I, I, I still think that uh, some people are meant for each other regardless when it's gonna happen. I think that's how we got together in our married life there, wearing that ring, which I shouldn't have wore. I think I had a very fortunate life. Everybody said, oh, you led a sheltered life, but I just love my life. I just loved it, I wouldn't change a thing. So I don't think I would change my life at all. I would, I would go through the same thing. Everything that I endured, good or bad, I would do the same thing over.